I'm Nigel Tyus. Uh, we're here in Millhouse Green at my forge, uh, where we manufacture items for people to use in their home. We make lights, we make fireside sets and beautiful pieces out of iron. Uh, I've been a blacksmith since 1970 and I've, I've worked throughout my life doing blacksmithing and general engineering. Um, in 2000 I set up this business to try and use some of my more artistic talent to create artistic pieces for anybody that wanted them really and since then we've sort of expanded the business and now there are ten of us uh, all working within that structure. Symbolically the ram's head has always been important to this area and from that we designed and made a series of ram's heads, one of which I shall make today. We had metalwork lessons at school and of all the crafts that we, were, we could do, the most exciting really was the blacksmithing craft because the combination of using uh, fire and, and, and heating a very hard material into, into a state where it was quite soft and you could shape it into fancy shapes and elaborate pieces was, was very interesting to me. The actual process of creating that raw metal and then making it into something beautiful is a nut that's not made by a machine but made by a man's hand, his eye and his head understanding the craft and being able to shape it and make it into something. Nowadays that's quite a magical thing. I'm guessing that when it was first discovered that you could create iron. It was a completely mystical thing that a piece of stone would yield metal. And, and the fire, which of course was always looked upon as the centre of your life. Uh, it was The fire created warmth, you cooked your food on it and kept animals away. It was an amazing thing and so to get metal from that same process, I suppose, was an absolutely magical thing. And, and the symbolism is, is fantastic. So at the time, people would have assumed it was God-given. And, and, and so the blacksmith and the metal maker was certainly held very, very highly within society. Historically, swords and daggers were made from steel and iron and by combining different qualities of the materials together in, in a sandwich so to speak and then heating them and, and hammering them the diff each each metal infused a different quality within to that blade and by doing that he created strength and hardness and and be, it became a very sort of interesting thing to do because you could create wonderful patterns in the metal which were often looked upon as being uh, linked to the gods of old I suppose, uh, certainly back in Viking times uh, they, they were used to name the swords and things and the craftsmen that made them were able to create patterns within the blades that were almost um, magical to look at. Quite often when I'm designing, I do look to nature for inspiration. Nature has an amazing way of creating fabulous shapes and you can, by looking and spending time observing you can 
transfer some of that into your craft. We, we did a project some years ago for one of my colleagues who sadly died. Um, and he's a fisherman. But after he died, we created a nice bench for him, like to remember him by. And within that, we, we've created a, a, a riverscape uh, all the fishes swimming in the water and, and just created something from nature to look and to commemorate his life. There are a number of blacksmiths in the area who I'm acquainted to and we, we do meet up occasionally. Uh, we talk about different projects, we discuss different ways and techniques of making things and pass on knowledge to each other. That's, that's a very important part of being a blacksmith. It's, it's a fairly unique um, situation really. Th there aren't that many of us these days and when you do learn something or discover something that's helpful to what you do, then we meet, like I say, we do meet occasionally and, and just talk to each other about it. And, and we are, I like to think, we're quite special people. I often am presented with a bit of a challenge, but it's very rare that I can't work out what to do. And, I, and all that comes basically from learning to work metal. It always presents you with challenges and you have to find a way. And that is something that stuck with me through my life, in, in, in every aspect of my life. There's always a way to, to do something and it doesn't matter really if it takes you a while to figure it out, but you can do it. And it's having that confidence that's what it is. It's given me confidence to be able to not do anything, but to do lots of things that I never thought I could do.